Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us once again. Let's get started with today's devotional. All right, guys. So today we're going to be reading of 1 Samuel chapter 16. And we're going to be reading for verses 14 to 23, but we're going to be jumping around and I'll let you guys know when we do that. But let's start with verse 14. Again, reading from the King James. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. And Saul's servants said unto him, Behold, now an evil spirit from God troubles you. Let our Lord now command thy servants, which are before thee, to seek out a man who is a cunning player on a harp, and it shall come to pass when the evil spirit from God is upon thee, that he shall play well with his hand, and thou shalt be well. And Saul said unto his servants, Provide me now a man that can play well and bring him to me. Let's keep down to verse 21. And David came to Saul and stood before him, and he loved him greatly, and he became his armor bearer. And let's jump to uh, verse 23. And it came to pass when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul, that David took a harp and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. All right, guys, so... Today we want to focus on the power of worship and the power of praise. As we know, David is called by many scholars the psalmist of Israel. And, I mean, of course, because he wrote pretty much the whole uh, book of Psalms. And, and so here we have King Saul. Now this is after King Saul was rejected by God. And an evil spirit from the Lord. Notice that. An evil spirit from the Lord, not from the devil, but an evil spirit from the Lord. Remember in Job chapter 1 and chapter 2, the devil can only do that which God allows him to do. So God is in control of even the evil spirits. So an evil spirit from the Lord troubles Saul, and these servants know what's going on, and they go and they seek out David. Now David, he is well known by, for uh, playing a harp, playing instruments, and maybe singing. It is never mentioned that David sings well, that David had a beautiful voice actually. Something to think about. But anyway, but he was well known for that, for his, his talent, you know, and the anointing that he had from God into to playing music, into, you know, worshiping God. And, when he, and whenever he played the harp, the evil spirit left from Saul and, and, and he was well, he felt peace. You know, many times I believe, and I can speak for myself and I know there's many other people, maybe, maybe one of you that are watching today, many times we feel depressed, many times we feel discouraged, many times we feel scared or whatever the whatever way we may feel that is opposite to what we should be feeling instead of feeling joy instead of feeling happy instead of feeling thankful we feel every other way that's when i encourage you guys to play some music you know play some worship music and there's some music out there in the radios today in the christian radios that i truly disagree with because not once do you hear the name of jesus being mentioned or a single scripture you know, and so, but that's just my preference. Everybody has their own, but I'm talking about a real, real type of praise and worship music, a, a kind of song that will lift you up, that will lift your spirit up, that will encourage you. You know, going through trials, especially this year, 2018, I was going through some, through some deep, deep stuff, and I found a couple songs that I held on to for months. I mean, I would play the same songs over and over and over again, and and those songs encouraged me every time. And the Bible says that David encouraged himself in the Lord. You know, he didn't have nobody else around him. He was by himself. So he had to encourage himself in the Lord. So I encourage you guys, play some praise music, play some worship music. It is so powerful. We, we really don't see the power of music. A song can make you feel depressed. A song can make you remember of... 20 years ago where you were, what you were doing, what you, where you were at. Music is so powerful and we're going to be doing a devotional shortly about all that, the power of music. And here's just a, an example, but a powerful one. The praise, uh, the exalting of God, it is so powerful, so key for us as Christians in our daily walk. And so I encourage you guys, if you are going through something, feeling some kind of way, discouraged or something, Play some worship music and praise God, regardless of what you're going through. Praise Him, and everything will be turned around. 
Amen. So thank you guys for joining us once again to our, our five-minute devotion of today. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless you. Have a great day. Have a great day.